Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. Uh, today we're gonna be going over a couple different styles of Panasonic main boards. Uh, we do have quite a few calls about how to identify and specifically the suffixes that are involved with these main boards. Uh, so right off the bat here, if you have any questions, uh, if you need any help, uh, you can give us a call at 1-800-203-7484. We'll do our best to help you out. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a couple different styles that we've got laid out here. First is uh, this specific style of mainboard, and you can find the manufacturer's part number right here, the TNPH0831, and the suffix grid, and so how you actually identify what suffix it's gonna be, is over here next to this coax. Uh, and then another style of Panasonic board is actually gonna have, right here next to this HDMI port, you're gonna have your manufacturer's part number, the TNPH, 1001, and then the suffix grid that's right next to it down here. Uh, and we will be going into a little bit more detail about how to find those suffixes, uh, but first things first, we are gonna go ahead and start with the TNPH0831, and we're gonna be going over how to find the suffix for that. Uh, and if you will notice on this board, right after that part number, you're gonna see a three in a circle and an A in a square. We are not gonna be needing that information. That's not the suffix. Uh, we are gonna need to use this suffix grid over here next to the coax input to actually figure out what the two letter suffix is. Uh, and if you do notice on this one, at the very top, you're gonna notice a column of five solder points. We got column one, column two, column three, column four and column five. And for this specific board, we're gonna be looking for the grid that has two dots, one in column four and one in column five where we actually have the solder points on the board. As we go down the board, uh, we're gonna be seeing A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E, A, F, and so on. What we're gonna be looking for in each specific column is going to be one dot in column four and one dot in column five. And that is gonna be corresponding to the AD. And if you notice, there's not gonna be a dot in one, two, three, but there is a dot in four and five, and that does match up to the solder points at the top. So the full part number for this board would be TNPH0831AD. Okay, so now we are gonna decipher this TNPH1001. We're gonna decipher the suffix for this board. Uh, so first thing that we need to find is our upper and our lower. And you can see this separated here on the board here and here. And this is broken apart into two sections. Uh, the upper is going to have the letter grid and it's going to have the solder points. As well as the lower is gonna have the letter grid and the solder points. And you can see there's gonna be two sets of solder points for the upper and the lower. Since our solder point is here on the right, we're only going to be using the right letter grid. Now in the lower, our solder point is on the left, so we're only going to be using the left letter grid. To find the first letter in our suffix, we're going to be looking at the upper part of our suffix grid. It's gonna be broken apart into a left side and a right side. Since our solder point is located on the right side, we're gonna be using the right side of our letter grid. Looking at the orientation of our solder point, the one we have here corresponds to the letter U. If it were here, it would correspond to W, and if it were here, it would correspond to Y. To find the second letter in our suffix, we're gonna be going to the lower suffix grid located here. Since our solder points are located on the left side, we're going to be using the left side of the letter grid. Since our solder point is located here, it will tie back to the letter A. If it were located here, it would be tying back to the letter D. And you do need to be careful about the orientation of these solder points, if they are horizontal or vertical. Since our solder points are located here and here, the full part number for this would be TNPH1001UA. All right, so that is our tutorial on how to identify a Panasonic board. Now, I know this can seem like it's really complicated and in a lot of situations it can be, 
Uh, do remember, if you need any help, you can give us a call at 1-800-203-7484. We will try to help you out to figure out what, what exact suffix that you have on your board. Uh, don't forget, if you leave a comment down below uh, with any questions, we'll try to help you out. Uh, you can like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, that subscription can get you 20% off your first order through TV Parts today. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.